Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a scream. <laughs> What is going on, entertainment? So today I'm coming to you guys with another video. So in this video, you guys, we're talking Suki and Mariah Lynn, just Sukiana in general, you guys. You guys know the 2023 VMAs just passed, and Sukiana, you guys, has been getting a lot of criticism due to her carpet um, actions on the floor, okay? Now, not going to lie, I thought she was trolling, and I still think she low-key trolling because things aren't adding up, okay? There's inconsistencies in her story, Okay. I smell a big stunt because why is the carpet black? But then the ones that we saw posted with them, actual like other celebrities that were pink. Was it a pre-show red, red carpet before? And that's why the carpet was black. I smell a stunt. I'm confused. I really want to know. According to some reputable articles, it was an actual red carpet because if you even look it up, you see a lot of art articles such as uh, Vibe uh, reporting on it and also um, Wrap Up, All Hip Hop, XXL Magazine. They're all reporting on the story. So you would have thought that it's real. But just from the video in general, you see the corner of the room and it looks like an office room or something like that. So that's why I was kind of confused as to if it was real or not. If you guys look, you, you guys see that little corner on the on the right side. With a big tootsie cat in the air, beep, 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 back it in up, back, back, backing it up. See, you you see that? What's that? Is that an office? That looks like an office. So at first I thought it was fake, and I still think it's a little fake because it's like, why her carpet black? And then also, here's the red carp, the pink carpet with the celebrities, as you can see right here. So was this all a slow social media stunt to get the people talking, Suki? Because Suki, you know, is known for getting the clout on the online. So it kind of tripped me off. Like, what's really happening? Okay. Um, a lot of people were not happy with her behavior. The first person that really called her out and threw a little shade is Delicious. Now, Delicious, okay? <laughs> Let that ass pop in that dress if your name's Delicious, okay? Delicious. Delicious is the main one. Always, I feel like throwing little slick shots on the online every now and then. Delicious. If you're delicious, let that ass pop outside <laughs> that dress like that. Delicious. Why you care if other girls is delicious? I will say this, though. I think that Suki does a lot of things for clout and does a lot of things just for public fodder. And I think that it's not natural. Um, the difference between her and Sexy Red, I really do believe Sexy Red is really like that. She, It's not a persona she's putting off to gain more fans. Like She's really a hood girl at heart. And Suki, to me, I don't think is that much of a you know, a hood rat as she portrays to be or like, you know, does the ghetto-ish, the, the, the tussy popping, the Big Debbie cakes in the air. I don't think that's like really her at the core. And that's why it kind of is off-putting when she does it. And when she does do it, it's random. Whether her it's saying she likes her De Big Debbie cakes eating out in public with a whole bunch of old people just walking around, certain things like that, it's just, it's off-putting. Like, I don't see ever Sexy Reds doing just that in public, you know, out and about, just, you know, for clicks and views, okay? So Delicious says, too many outdoor shoes been on the carpet buttercup. So Suki says, girl, you was sleeping with Flavor Flav. You ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> Flavor Flav! Now, D Delicious, you was over there singing like Mariah Carey when you and Crazy was having that American Idol feud. And y'all was going back and forth to see who could win Flav's heart on that table. Okay, <laughs> Remember when she did that run against Crazy? So I don't think she really had the place to really talk because you yourself, Delicious, wasn't <laughs> the most you know, a model woman on the show because y'all did some things, okay? Y'all was popping the tissy, y'all was over here sleeping with Flav, swapping spit. You didn't know where that man's mouth is back, okay? So I don't think you were the right person to really shade. And the thing is with Delicious, Delicious will do stuff like this and then pull out soliloquies, okay? So she wrote a whole soliloquy apologizing after Suki clapped back at her 
on Instagram and went down a rabbit hole of just shade. She said, not today, Satan. First off, let me start by saying to Suki, I apologize if my comment upset or offended you. I should have said you too fine for that flow, which is a much more precise way of describing what I thought when I saw the post or even better, not comment at all. But unfortunately, I never thought my comment would be viewed as an insult. My people told me not to respond, but the new agenda is to put women at odds and having us hating each other for no good reason. Now, you don't want that through, through the shade, okay? Even though we all agree that Suki does entirely too much, at least I do. My people told me not to respond, but the new agenda is to put women at odds and have us hating each other for no good reason. I refuse to conform to that agenda. I believe if you offended, if you offend someone publicly, you should be man or woman enough to apologize and correct your mistakes publicly. My comment obviously felt like a judgment, and that wasn't cool. I'm a fan and an advocate for women. No harm was intended, Queen, and I wish you a blessed Woman Crush Wednesday. Buttercup. Now that's the shade. Buttercup. <laughs> that apology to me was very unnecessary and too long for this little uh, back and forth banter on Instagram. But y'all know Stuki is one to pull up. We've seen her pull up on Mama D when Mama D pull out them uh, packs of Trojan men for Sukiana. So she probably would have did the same thing to Delicious if Delicious um, pulled up. I do think that uh, Suki is actually talented, but some of the ways she just goes about stuff on social media... It just makes her look dumb. And I feel like her doing stuff like this just does her a, more of a disservice than a service. Because in my opinion, Sexy Red came along and did what she was trying to do. She was trying to be that uh, the hood girl that was relatable, okay, that talked about her, her cootie cat, that was out here eating Popeyes, okay, on Fig. Okay, letting the niggas uh, spend it how they please because she's like that. But no, Sexy Red came along and literally took that over. So I think that's the problem. Suki is actually really, really pretty. I think her face card really doesn't decline, in my opinion. I don't like some of the words she's from. No, no, sure. The little fillers, I don't think she should have did some of that. Okay, but I don't think she's ugly whatsoever. So it's not like she needs to do some of these things to be able to trend. I think if she put a lot of that uh, energy into the music. I think she'd be a lot uh, more successful than she already is. Because the Casamigos track is fire. I like that track. Tell me, pour it in my cup. Pour it, pour it in my cup. You know we're going to hear that all baddie season. They're going to play that all baddie season. Good casting, Nat Nat. Okay, somebody else who didn't like this either was Mariah Lynn. So Mariah Lynn, you guys, who hella shade at Suki also and says this. She said, uh, this is how you conduct yourself at an award show. And then she put her head slam an emoji. Now, Mariah, I get the message. The wrong messenger. Okay, you're the one who said once upon a time, not long ago, I was a ha. And I admitted it. I won't take it back because I. It, like you said that yourself so you know this is coming from a former hoe in retirement okay your social security didn't even you know check didn't even uh cash yet and you're talking so i don't think you should be the one to talk but the reason why she is is because her and uh suki are not at the best of terms especially filming this new baddies east season um suki has tweeted before that uh she wants her uh my name is t um, Smiley and a couple other girls to go home and one of them included Mariah Lynn so it seems like they didn't have the easiest time on this season and that's probably why she threw her shade at her um, during the season uh, during uh, on Instagram right now at this moment so we'll see this all play out during the season of Baddies East and of course at the reunion of course this was probably be brought up um, and uh, at the reunion as well so Janisha get your receipts ready okay also, there was some other people at the re, uh, at the VMAs too. Miss Nat Nat was in full attendance, okay, being the big groupie that she is. I love Nat Nat at award shows <laughs> because that's how I would be. She was sitting next to Sweetie, and uh, Nikki said uh, something, and next thing you know, <laughs> I think Nikki said, "It's my rematch," and walked off. And Natalie said, "What do you think about that, Sweetie?" One thing about Natalie, you're going to get a good laugh out of her. When I tell you, I screamed when she pointed that camera at Sweetie and said that to her. Like, really? You going to do that to the girl? <laughs> what you expect her to say? Like, how do you feel? Okay. 
other people that were in attendance as well. We had uh, Jay Lamina was attending and sitting directly next to Sexy Red. Okay. Of course, uh, Natalie was there. Scotty with Lemmy Pepper's body was there as well. Okay. Giving silver renaissance realness and serving also hairstyle of let it go, let it go. Natalie is going to punch me all the time. I know. I'm going to let it go. Let it go. Natalie's going to hit me upside the head. Okay. She was there as well. So I think Nat looked great, though. I didn't like the hair. I will say that. The hair was questionable. I don't like the little pink streak. It's giving uh, pink. There you go. Look it. Pitiful. I don't like that. Okay. I think if she just went all black with her hair, she'd be straight. But the body looks good. One thing you can't deny, Nat Nat snatched. Okay. And of course, Janisha was there as well, okay? Serving pink pussy roundness, all right? Let me know what you guys think down below about this. Do you guys think Suki does a little bit too much? Do you think Mariah Lynn has the right to be able to really call her out on this? Or do you guys think she should up? Uh, because once upon a time, she was a hot, okay? Leave your comments down below, and we're out, babies. Ain't no personal thing. All that thing.